In the neck of the same Scorpio constellation, there is a star, a red star, which is called Antares in modern European astronomy. Antares means rival to Mars. It rivals Mars in redness and brightness in the sky. It is as red as Mars. Now this star is actually just the 17th brightest star in the sky. This star has been called Jeshta in Indian astronomy. Jeshta means eldest or the big one. Why would they call it Jeshta or the big one when it is only just 17th brightest star in the sky? For this, if you look at the sizes, let's look at the sizes. Earth to Sun, when you compare, the Earth is just one hundredth of the size of the Sun. This huge Sun is very tiny, a speck when compared to Arcturus in the Buddhist constellation. Arcturus is a giant star. This giant Arcturus is a point when you compare it with Antares, which is the big one. And therefore, you see that our ancients seem to have known of this fact that Antares, even though it's just a 17th bright star in the sky, is actually the biggest in our galaxy. And they have aptly given it the name Jeshta, the eldest or the big one. Antares, Jeshta, the big one. The biggest one was identified and named suitably 7,000 years ago itself by the Indian astronomers. What sight or what insight did they have to catch this large one is something again to marvel upon. Were these characteristic names just a coincidence? To ensure that the scientific knowledge, the characteristics of each of these astronomical bodies gets transmitted through the generations, stories were woven around these names. We thus have these popular stories where the stars blend into people, 